I grew up surrounded by my great-grandfather's paintings. The images of men hunched over a table studying the Talmud, celebrating Simchach Torah, and reciting prayers in temple loomed large in my childhood. As a young girl, I came to know of the Polish Jewish community of the early 20th century, a people and culture nearly annihilated in the Second World War, almost exclusively through observing the images Moshe put to canvas. While Moshe drew many scenes of Jewish religious life, he also had a keen eye for exploring and visually narrating the daily rhythm of everyday life. Beyond the walls of the synagogue, he dwelt on the unique qualities of ordinary lives. Musicians playing to a crowd in the street, men kibitzing over a chessboard, and domestic life, women sewing, washing clothes, taking care of children, and working outside the home. The women in my great-grandfather's paintings hold a special place in my heart. In them, I search for and see reflections of those who may have been family. And I like what I see, tender glimpses of women working at what surely must have been mostly mundane tasks of sewing, embroidering, and washing clothes. And yet his gaze is always loving and affectionate. But the women in my great-grandfather's paintings are people I never knew. And so while I can, and sometimes do gaze uninterrupted at his works, I always feel somewhat disconnected from the community and people he painted. No matter how hard I try, there is a barrier of time and distance I cannot cross. To watch Paige paint is to momentarily bridge that divide. While I am deeply familiar with each of Moshe's works presented here, there is something powerful about the moment Paige begins painting. I find myself wondering which parts she will tackle first, which components she will emphasize, and I marvel at the nuances of Paige's style within the Reinecke artistic structure I know so well. Paige quickly fills the screen with color and changes from drawing the background with a thick brush to using a thin marker for details. As the piece is completed, Moshe's artistic vision emerges from Paige's digital perspective and palette. Her stylistic flair shines a new light on the lives of the women who I crave to know better and who otherwise remain frozen in a distant past. The legacy of my great-grandfather's work is not about what was lost, but about how we can use what we have to further understand Jewish art history, life in Poland in the interwar years, and even the representation of women in an era when their talents were systematically undervalued. My pursuit for my great-grandfather's lost works is intensely focused on the hope of discovering new pieces unknown to me. But in the long waits between new discoveries, my quest turns inward to bring my understanding of the pieces I've seen together to begin to tell the larger story. While intense focus and familiarity can help me quickly understand the themes and importance of newfound works, many times it is a shortcut, keeping me from seeing new subtleties or implications. Page's interpretations allow me to examine the art from a fresh perspective, to gain new insights, and even occasionally a flash of inspiration. I hope that in her approach you have gained new perspectives as well. Elizabeth Reinecke